How would you like to weed tomatoes without ever having to bend down? Let me show you how. As you can see, we've got some young tomato plants here in one of our gazillion cages that we have out. And the tomato plant looks pretty good, but if you look around, you start to see a few weeds. Like for instance, right here. And so this is how we do this. You basically, you take the plant, the tomato cage, and you move it around. Now you notice our tomato cages are not secured. If you look up, there's nothing on that pole yet. There's no need to secure it at this point. So now what I've done is I have moved the cage over. So all I need to do is run the wheel hole beside the cage and it'll get the weeds. And you can do that from any direction. If you have some weeds between the plant and the pole, that means you didn't plant it close enough to the pole. But nonetheless, you can hand weed that if you need to. Here's our wheel hose setup. In this case, it's a Haas wheel hose. We've actually got several different wheel hose, but it's certainly a handy tool. And if you look up and down, it's about ready to go. We do have the oscillator on the back and we prefer to use that because of the weeds we have. Let's talk about those. If any of you live in the South, you're gonna recognize these really fast. That is sage grass and a wheel hoe. If you segregate the leaves from the roots, it'll kill that plant and it works uh, very, very effective. The wheel hoe works very, very effective by, uh, by separating the two and the plant will die. It's darn near impossible to kill sage grass, but this will certainly do it. Let's give it a shot, huh? And just that quick, those weeds are gone. As you can see, I'm in the middle of one of the tomato cage rows, and all you have to do to get your wheel hoe down the main aisle is move your tomato cages as far over to the plant, protects the plant, and prevents you from having to move a whole lot more tomato cages later on. Weeding with a wheel hoe is pretty easy if you think about what you're doing before you do it. But a wheel hoe will reduce the amount of labor that you have exponentially. The main thing is you have to understand you have to do it very frequently. If you frequently use your wheel hoe around your tomatoes or anything else one way or the other, you won't do near the weeding that you normally would if you're crawling around on your hands and knees. Now, yes, this is a much bigger plot than many of you are gonna have, but nonetheless, you can't really beat a wheel hoe. Until next time, see you down at the barn.